Rebecca. Hey, 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 Friday, Friday, Friday. What's going on, everybody? I am back again with another podcast for you guys. It is Friday, man. Mm, payday for some people. And I do say some people because not everybody get paid every week. But if you got paid today, that's a good thing. Enjoy it. Memorial Day weekend, y'all. What y'all got planned? What, what y'all got planned, man? Y'all, y'all got the grill? What, what y'all what y'all grilling today? Well, y'all know who I am. I am back. I have another interview. This young lady, she uh we uh met up in uh CDL Life. She's uh she worked she worked for uh Western Express at one time doing flatbed. Now a lot of females getting into this flatbed game, man. Oh, don't don't sleep on the females in the flatbed game, man. Don't sleep. Uh, she was only there for a hot minute, and she left. We'll get into all of that in a minute. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I am Lockout Men. Thank you for watching, listening. If you like content like this and more, don't forget to comment, subscribe, share, like, hit that bell, all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I am here today. I'm bringing to the show Miss K, but you guys could call her Miss Kitty. Yes, ma'am. What's going on, Miss Kitty? So how's it? So where are you at right now? What's what's going on? Where where you, what what part of the world are you at right now? I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina. You, you where now? I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte, North Carolina. That's what's up, man. That's yeah. what's up. That's, that's, the, yeah. that's, that's where you from? You, you from North Carolina? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm from North Carolina. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, for the people that don't know who, for the people that don't know who you are, man, of course they don't know who you are, go ahead and, uh, Introduce yourself and let them know where you come from. Yeah, you know, my name is Alita. Born and raised in Charlotte, Carolina. 44 years old. Um, two kids, 25 and 19. Um, and I just, I just do my thing, you know. Okay, okay. You just do your, yeah. just, just, just doing your thing out there, doing your thing out there. So, uh, how yeah. long how how long you been a how long you been a truck driver? Well, I got my license last year in um, July, so it'll be a year coming up in July. Oh, okay. So you like you like fresh, like yeah, like fresh, fresh yeah. brand new into the game. Man. I'm that fresh red meat. I'm that yeah. I'm straight into the game. Damn it, man. Damn it, man! Fresh, mm-hmm. okay. That's what's up. That's yeah. what's up. So I'm let's uh, let's let's talk about you. For, <laughs> let's talk about you for a little bit. What's uh, what was life like growing up in uh, North Carolina? Oh uh, well, I had a good childhood. Um, raised by my mom, and you know I got a brother. Um, there's two of us, and uh, you know just I mean, hey. It was it was great. I mean, I had a great childhood. Uh, graduated in class of ninety five from South Mecklenburg High School. Um, went off, you know, had two kids, did my thing with the college, okay. took business administration, and I mean, you know, I just stayed to myself and, and relaxed, man. Okay, okay. I work, I always work, you know. So okay, so uh, before before you got into before you got into the industry, before you got into the game, you you had uh, mm-hmm. you had it says here you had multiple jobs, man. What what was some of the jobs that you had before you got into before you got into trucking? Well, uh, you know, I mean, you know, coming up, you know, it was always you know the little restaurant jobs, uh, and you know, and things like that. But before I left to go out in the trucking industry, I um, was um, with Amazon, you know, fulfillment center. So. Um, I would have been there three years in April. Matter of fact, April twenty first. Um, 
but I left out in October, you know, to, you know, to do, they pay, actually, they actually paid for me to get my TDLs. What, so, Amazon um, did? Know, I left out in October last year. A- yeah, Amazon, Amazon yeah, paid? They paid 95% of my, yeah, they paid 95% of my schooling. I took heed to it and, you know, dished out what I had to dish out and, and got them and, and, you know, actually, I really wasn't planning on driving. Mm-hmm. I was actually just getting them, you know, just just in case I needed them, just in case I wanted to, you know, change my career. Um, and, you know, just to, you know, just to have something about them, you know, just to feel up under my belt, you know. So okay. I did that, and, you know, when I was my trainer last year, you know, took a little bit for working with stuff, and, so you say when I did my thing. So you say you uh so you say you just 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 got this CDL thing just to have another notch under your belt, huh? But you said yeah, but you yeah, said that uh, Amazon a- Amazon came through with the with with the funds to to take care of your schooling. Yeah, they took yeah, if you if you with them, you, if you come in with Amazon mm-hmm. per, uh like permanently if you come in with Amazon, if you stay there for a year, they'll, yeah, they, yeah, they'll pay for your school. They got like a list of, you know, they give you like a list of, you know, to choose from, and they pay 95% of your school, and, um, up to $3,000, I mean, you know, every year. All right, so you say, uh, so you say and, you 95- know, a lot of people talk about Amazon, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, a lot of people talk about Amazon, but Amazon, you know, they got good benefits with them, you know. I yeah, mean, they- if, you know, we don't take heed to it, I mean, yeah, a lot of a, a lot you know? of people uh, uh, a lot of people, you know, says, you know, good and bad things about Amazon. I mean, they they say Amazon yeah. is a beast to work for. So how how was uh how was the experience there? You say you rocked it out there for 3 years. How how was the experience there? What have you seen that you know, the good, the bad, and the ugly? Uh, I mean, it started out once I got there, it started out it was wonderful because um, it was Amazon. Like, like the way you work here, I'm like, yeah, I work at Amazon. Oh, you work at Amazon, you know, and things like that. But, you know, it started out good, but, you know, once once you get in the game and you know your job and, you know, you just have different people, um, you, you know, I, I you know, I, I met different people. I met great people. Um, but, you know, once you, you, you start, you, you know, you – once you're there, you know, you start seeing things change, you know, uh, the, uh, you know, the, the, the managers, you know, you, you get used to one set of managers and then you turn around and three months later, you got another manager, you know, you know, tell you something different from this manager and this supervisor and, you know, falling in these rules and falling, you know, and it's, too, I mean, but over the years, too, I mean, too, it was great. Too, too many Indians and not enough chiefs. That's, that's what's going on there up there. Go. There you go. There you go. Always. I mean, you know, and I've been gone for that for six months, and, it, and I go back, and, it, and it's still the same, you know. But you know, it's just like they got younger, um, they got younger students like straight out of college, and you know, it get kind of weird when you know when you got somebody, you, you you know, you got somebody that's twenty five trying to tell an older person what to do, you know. So it's just it's just a mixture of you know just different things like that so it's like mcdonald's up in that bitch pretty much that's what it is that's exactly what it is exactly <laughs> exactly yeah, like mcdonald's up in that bad boy you yeah, got a part. whole bunch of you got a whole bunch yeah. of students uh college students that's it. uh 19 that's 20 it. 25 year old something and yeah. you know you got the yeah you know they 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 are put they're they're put in authority you know put in authoritative you know uh, position, and then you got the old heads that's you know that's that's you know that's been there, done that. You know what I'm saying? And you know you guys is trying to work, you but go. you got them, you got them young cats trying to you know trying to tell you what to do, and you, you pretty much already know how to do it. <laughs> you know that's that's, that's what right. is going on up there, that's up right. at Amazon. Yeah, Amazon like, doing it I'm like that. Where you were born, baby. Amazon, yeah, Am- yeah, Amazon you know. doing it like that, man. They, they, uh, they doing they it just, like that. Uh, they doing it just like that. Uh, that's ugly, Amazon. Just like that. Amazon, that's ugly, yeah, man. It is. So, is it yeah, is it true? It is. It, is is it true that um uh, that Amazon has some strict work policies there? Um. 
I guess if they follow them, if they stay on it like they should, um, I mean, nothing, nothing really strict about it. Um, they're pretty strict on the unpaid time, you know, UPT. Um, and um, explain, explain that. Know, what's, 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 what's UPT up, up, up in uh, Amazon? Is explain that to me. Unpaid time. They give us like quarterly. They give us twenty hours of unpaid time that. We can use like doing emergencies, or you know, if you don't feel good, you can leave, and you know they just they deduct it from your um, you know, your hours. They don't deduct it from. I mean, it actually come from your paycheck, so it, it's just like a, a emergency type uh, time, you mm-hmm. know, like paid time off. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It'd be UPT. You just won't get paid for it. Um, and you know, they would really, really, they would really want you to use it for emergencies. Um, but you know, some people take advantage of it, and you know, they just they just gave them twenty hours. In April, you know, you know, we got some people down in view are already, so I'm just like, okay, so if the emergency happens, what are you going to do? So if you call into the negative in the UPT, you're, you're definitely going to be out the door. Mm. I'm going to just keep it straight like that. I hear, I, I hear Amazon, so, yeah. I, I hear Amazon is, uh, is strict on, uh, you know, if, if you get sick or something like that, or if you call off or something like that, I hear that they have like a, a virtual, a virtual, one and done situation. You call off and you don't have to. They, you don't have to worry about coming back. Is 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 it like that there? Oh no, I haven't heard that. Now say that again. I well, I mean, you know, from you know, from articles that I have read and from you know a little bit of right. people that I have talked to. You know, uh, this uh-huh. one this one young lady that used to work at Amazon, she was, uh-huh. you know, she she was sick. She was told to go home. And then when she mm-hmm. went, you know, when she went back, I think something I think something else happened. And they just, you know, instead of face to face telling her, you know, that we're letting you go, they sent her an email said that you don't have to worry about coming back. I mean, Amazon, Amazon raw like that, man. I mean, y'all, y'all, y'all don't get no face to face. Y'all, y'all I, get an email. And y'all get Friday, man. I mean, they, I, they, I, I, they, I know. I, 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 I used to work with a guy that worked at Amazon. They, you know, they let him go face to face. I guess, I guess it maybe just depend on the, 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 the manager or, I don't know. I'm I I I personally haven't heard anybody getting terminated through, you know, email. Um, I don't know, maybe maybe it depends on the state, maybe you know, depends on the warehouse. Um the position. I mean, I don't That's that's kind of that. that's that's kind of unhuman like if you ask me, man, getting getting terminated on yeah. your getting terminated on your day off by email. That's <laughs> that's crazy. That you wake up in the morning. Right. I mean, you wake up in the morning, take a shower and all like that, and then you get your phone and you check your email and it says, "Don't worry about coming in. We don't need your services no more." How how does that right. make a person feel, man? That's that that yeah, that's, cool. that's uh that's, that make a person feel some type of way. That's why you get people that's that's disgruntled and they'll come back up there and 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 shoot you, the place I mean, up. Well, you already know Amazon always has a big turnover. They got a big turnover now. Right. They got a big turnover, you know. Um, so, I mean, it's, 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 it's <laughs> they're going to keep employees. So, I mean, pushing one out of the door and bringing, hell, bringing 10, 100, 200 in 200, for yeah. this season ain't, you know, that ain't, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you know, they they get down dirty and grimy sometimes. But, you know, I mean, like like I say, they offer programs for you to take it. If you don't want to take it, I mean, hey, they didn't put a week in there for you. So what? Uh, so the the fulfillment, you know, what you know, Amazon Amazon came up throughout the years, man. I mean, you know, they took over, you know, uh-huh. they took over the internet. You know what I'm saying? Now they now they they uh-huh. they, they they taking over. You know, what was what's the internet? E commerce. And now, now with the fulfillment centers coming in, you know, being built in places where old abandoned malls used to be, you know, re, right. just rejuvenating the economy for some states, man. 
You know what I'm saying? Who knew? Right. Who knew mm-hmm. a, a a a bookstore? Because that's what Amazon started out as. They they started out as an online right. bookstore. Who knew that a bookstore yep. back in the day, up until mm-hmm. 2020, will be the conglomerate that it is today? Mm-hmm. I mean, have you? I mean, have you? Right. I mean, of course. You you shopped Amazon before you worked there, right? I mean, that's I mean, when the internet became hot, that's yeah. that's what you was doing. You know, you was ordering from Amazon, right? Right. So now that you got a chance to work at Amazon, uh what was the what's the benefits? Like y'all of course you could order you could order just about everything. Any and everything from right. Amazon. So what is right. what's the employee right. benefits there? Like you you guys have like half off, uh seventy five percent. We get like um yeah, we get like a um uh we, we I mean, you know, we definitely don't get prime for free, but um you have to pay for prime. It's Y'all had to wait, like wait, wait, wait. You you had to pay for prime? Like you a worker there. That's yeah, one of the we don't get prime for free. What? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got to pay for Prime. Um, but then we get like a $100. Um, they they put it up to $100, but it's really like 10% off your order if you order it, if the order is coming and fulfilled by Amazon. Um, not a third party. If it's through a third party, you can't use the discount. Um, I mean, it's really nothing big, you know, dealing with like, like the inside, but like, you know, our health benefits, we got great health benefits. Um, you know, we got the 401, we got, you know, the life insurance, you know, and stop, you know, and, and, and you know, and things like that. But um, I, I think the most part I enjoyed was just seeing the different, you know, things that come through Amazon. Like they say, you know, Amazon is A to Z. We got everything in there from A to Z. So, you know, that was a good benefit just to see, you know, like different, I mean, hell, it could be different medications. You could be like, well, what's this used for, you know, or mm-hmm. different kind of toys. Like, oh, I'm going to get this for my granddaughter, you know, for Christmas, you know, and, you know, and things like that. But, I mean, it's, I mean, it's just, it's just a, a normal, everyday job that, you know, like if I was doing a, a different job, you know. The distribution. It's fun, you know, it's a fun environment. The distribution center runs 24 it's hours a day, right? Uh-huh. I mean, they got, they got yeah, employees yeah, the in there 20. 24. So what? So what shift that you yeah. you work? You work first, second, or third? No, I work. I work overnight. I work seven p.m. to five thirty a.m. Oh, okay, okay. Was was that was that cool yeah, for so you? Was like you used to? Was was you used to working shifts like that? Yeah, I've been. I like working third. You know, to give me my whole day to myself and the thing I got to get done. You know, with my kids. You know, when they was little and stuff like that. So. You know, just give me a little, you know, rest up during the day and and go in there and bust it up overnight. All right, so Miss K, man, you you uh you rocked it there for three years. Why, why, why did you leave? I mean, if you like the company so much, why why did you leave? Man, like I said, they start getting them young kids in there, and um, you know, they they get the you know your AMs get the nagging you over this and that and. Uh, you know, so I, uh, right before I left out last year, I got into a little, you know, little, little altercation with, um, uh, one of my co one, of, you know, co worker up in there. And, um, right then and there, I, I, I said, you know what, I think, I think I just need to go and cool off for a minute and step on outside my box and go on and try to pursue my career. Um, you know, for, I ain't want no problems, you know, <laughs> so. I just went ahead and left out. It got kind of, it got kind of ratchet. I'm not that ratchet type woman, you know, but it was with a younger female, and you know, she came out of my room, she was gonna put her hands on me, you know, and I'm just like, you know what, yo, I'm gonna catch a charge up here. So mm-hmm. I think I better just go on and, you know, leave that alone. So yeah, that's when I headed on out. Couldn't you just, couldn't you just escalate that through, uh, through upper management that you was having a problem with this female? I mean, it just happened so quick. It, it, I, it was just so. It, I, it wasn't like an ongoing problem. Um, we were just on the line one day, you know, and it was it was really over a station, you know, and um, 
she wanted me to move and, you know, like one thing led to another with us, you know, calling each other names and, you know, and I tried to be the bigger person but like, well, look what I get to with doing what I'm doing, you know, sorting out my product. Yeah, I give you the station. But, you know, I guess she was just trying to impress her friends. She just kept going and going and going and, you know, this and, you know, this. And then she finally came out of my house and said, I'm going to slap this bitch. And I'm like, oh, man, I know I got to go, you know. So mm-hmm. I went on here and hit it out and, you know, I just, I said, you know what, I just, I can't, I can't do this. So mm-hmm. in order for me to save my ass, I just, you know. But the, save, but the saving grace yeah. of it all, uh, the saving grace of it all, Amazon, uh, came through and provided you with your CDL, so you got into you got into yeah. another industry. So, yeah. with, with the CDL program, yeah. with the CDL program, did did Amazon had a particular school that you went to, or you went to your own school and you just yeah. told Amazon, you know, to to pay the check? Um, I chose the school. It was it was it was one of us one of the you know um credit schools on our list. Mm-hmm. So I, I chose the school and um went to Transtech of Charlotte and um you know Amazon paid for it. Okay. And that was a blessing. Okay. Yeah, that was that that was a blessing. I mean, you know, it's unfortunate that yeah. unfortunate that that situation happened to you up in uh up at the fulfillment center, but you know the the, right. the the end result of it all. You you was able to get your CDLs out of the deal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Right. So uh, so you know I I would think that Amazon would probably uh do a benefit like that because Amazon in a minute is about to be self contained with their own with their own trucks. Did did you uh did yeah, we you got them too? Yeah, did you did did you hear about that? That they you know that they're going to start having their own a la Walmart trucks, their own transportation company. Oh wow! Um, I know we got the Amazon trucks. I did see that. I see that on a property all day. Mm-hmm. Um, other than that, I mean. I don't. I don't know how they're gonna run them. I don't know if they're gonna do OTR or they're gonna like just deliver to you know the different other warehouses or you know I hadn't heard no more about it. It's like in transportation. I don't work in transportation, so. But let me ask you this: um, now that you got, now that you, know, you got, got, now that you got your CDLs and you know you went, how, how long mm-hmm. was how long was the program? How about the beginning my CDLs? Yes. It was four weeks. Oh, it was four weeks. So you, Four weeks. So you, I started in June. I think it was June the twelfth, mm-hmm. and I came out July like July seventeenth. Okay, so it was only like four weeks. Okay. Was there any uh, other than other than um, other than? Hold on, right quick. Okay. Mm-hmm. Other than Amazon paying for the you know paying for your CDLs and everything. Uh, was there mm-hmm. anybody that inspired you to 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 go and get your license? Well, you know, to be honest, I have always wanted to drive a tractor trailer. Um, but you know, I was trying to wait on my kids to get older. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you know, I had some other little fears. I'm just like, um, you know, like I was scared of heights. <laughs> I was scared of bridges, you know, and things like that. So that kind of held me back. But um. My mom, she always knew I wanted, you know, to get my CDLs, you know, and drive a truck. And, you know, when I sat down and talked to her about it, I said, you know what, I'm, I think I'm going to go ahead and get my CDLs. And she was like, well, hey, I mean, it's something you always wanted to do. It ain't no shock to me, you know. I mean, if you're going to do it, go and do it. Did you, so, fe- did you feel and, any? You know, my brother, you know, so, yeah. Did you feel any kind of way? Uh-huh. I mean, being an older, you know, being, uh, you know, being an older woman, getting into, you know, getting into the, uh, getting into the, uh, uh, semi. I mean, did you feel some kind I, of way? I did. I I did because I, I, you know, I, I said, you know, now that I'm that I really, you know, got my CDLs. Um, I I don't. I guess it just depends on the person. I, you know, I was just like, damn, maybe I should have. I should have did this while I was younger. You know, like in my twenties. You know, but it, it's never too late. You know, but. I, I did feel a certain type of way I, because I, I should have just went ahead and did it while I was younger. But like, like I said, I was trying to raise my kids and, 
you know, it just worked, you know. My mom ain't never been the type of woman to put her children up on a pedestal. You know, mm-hmm. she always told us, hey, both of y'all graduated high school. I mean, you know, you ain't got to go to, you know, you ain't got to go to college to be no, no brain surgeon, you know, and all this. Just, you're going to have to work. You know, we weren't born into no rich family. And you're going to have to get out there and do what you got to do to, to take care of your family and yourself. And You know what I'm saying? So trucking gives you that I opportunity. I and, you know. Trucking really yeah, gives you exactly. trucking gives you that opportunity to uh to uh take care of your family, you know. And uh Yeah, yeah you, it does. It, it's you gotta take you gotta take it, you gotta take it where it takes you. <laughs> you gotta take it where it takes you. That's right. Um all That's right, right, so now that you got your now that you got your license, have you thought about going mm-hmm. back to Amazon and 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 drive for them? Have you thought about that? No, no, I'm not even gonna lie. No, I haven't. I get a lot. I get a lot of that. I, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm working back at Amazon right now. Um, but no, I, I haven't. Oh, I really haven't. Okay, okay. So, wait, you, you back at Amazon, the fulfillment center? Yeah, I'm back. At, yeah, yeah, I'm back there. Okay, I'm back for a minute. So, what happened with uh, what have you? Have you drove? I mean, have you driven for a company? Yeah, I went out. Yeah, I went out with Western uh, flatbed and um. Right, 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 right. My fault, my fault, my fault, my fault. Right, I went out with Western. Yeah, Brain freeze. Flatbed and um. Went out for myself, and then you know when it was time for me to get my DOT physical, uh, my blood pressure was high. So you know DOT, you know they wouldn't pass me with my DOT physical. So you know, I said, you know what? I, it was it was stressful. I'm not gonna lie, it was stressful when I was out there by myself. Um, mm-hmm. you know, a lot of people think the trucking industry is a oh, you make this all this money, and you know, a trucking industry is just like any other job. It's gonna be some bull somewhere. You're gonna always go through things. Um, it's a very unhealthy. Um, Career. it's a very unhealthy occupation. It is if you make it. You know what I'm saying? It is. It's um, very. Because you're unhealthy. always sitting down. You're, you're not exercising like yeah. You know. Nope. So you know while I'm on that road. Um, you know, I had my ups and downs and my bumps and rides, and man, when it was time for me to, you know, take my DOT physical, my blood pressure high, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go back home and I'm gonna chill out for a minute. Okay. And then, you know, I'm gonna, I, I plan on going back out hopefully in July. I said July, I'm gonna get myself to July. So you, uh, so Western Express doing flatbed. What was, what was your experience, uh, with with Western Express from from the time you got there with the trainer until you know the unfortunate. DLT. Man, so I met up with my trainer in Nashville, which is uh, you know one of uh, Western Express uh, main terminals. And um, male or female? I got with my trainer. You know, we hit it out, huh? Male or female? Uh male, a okay. male. It was a male. Um, so I went out with him. I met up with him in um in Nashville, Tennessee. We hit it out. Went to Seattle, Washington. Uh, left from Seattle, Washington, and headed to uh, San Diego, California. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was so excited, man. I would not say I was so excited. I was like, when he told me, like, he said, we're going to Seattle. We're going to drop this, you know, drop this load, and um, then we're going to San Diego. I said, San Diego, California? I was like, oh, yeah. So, hey, I was ready, you know. So mm-hmm. uh, we left from there, you know, with the Cali and – um. You no, know, we was back and forth from the West Coast to the East Coast, West Coast to the East Coast. Okay, okay. Um, had some up and down, you know, with him, and it was it was it was, it was crazy, man. Like, so what was we, you know? So what was the out, you what know? was the experience um, with him? I'm you you said some up and downs where he tried to what? Well, I'm not going to speculate. wasn't on the truck, but what was what was some of the situations with uh with him and you on the truck? Um, you know, he was he he was he was from up top. He was from New York. Um. Mm-hmm. We fell out. Uh, we was down in California. I don't know. Wait, waiting on the load. Um, it was just a typical day, and it, it, I mean, it really wasn't my fault. It was his fault because he he, he ate and fell asleep. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, when we we you know was last one sitting on the property waiting on the load. And um, you know, he woke up with an attitude. You know, and he just the one thing just led to another. And um. 
and it, it just it just escalated from there. Was you able to finish up your training with him, or you you had to finish up your training with somebody else? I, no, I started to. I, you know, I told him I, I, you know, what I did to him was I made him drove for a whole week by itself. I didn't drive. I said, you know what? I ain't driving nothing. I'm gonna let you do all the driving. You know, so mm-hmm. I was that mad that I did. I didn't. I didn't drive at all. You know, so I, I you know, all in all, I, I finished up my training with him. I ended up staying out with him for four, um, for four weeks, mm-hmm. which is only supposed to be like two to three weeks. So I ended up staying with him for about four weeks, and you know, then that's when I went out on my own. And, um, so, yeah, you know. So you 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 got in the you you jump head first in the flatbed. Was that was that something you wanted to do off rip, or was that just that's all that they I, had I, available? I, 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 I no no they had um they had that they had a reaper um I chose flatbed because it was it was a little physical to it you know um. I didn't know it was gonna be that physical. <laughs> yeah, flatbed is a young but, man's you know, game. It was, it was, it was, it was, yeah, yeah, yeah. That flatbed, that you know, that, that top ain't that, that top ain't no joke. Yeah, it, but, um, it's a, it's a young it, it's, a, it's it a young physical. man's I, I, game. <laughs> I can't I can't do it. Back oh yeah, back problems, yeah, knee yeah, problems. Yeah, so you know, nah, I, I couldn't I couldn't do it. You know, it. I had a lot of yeah, I had a lot of I had a lot of men tell me that boy, baby, do it good, baby. I don't know how you do it. I I I, I that, that's the job that I could never do. I I I, I you know I could be a dude, you know. Hey, well, I, thing, look, you know, I but. salute you, women, for doing it, man. I mean, shit. If if man, look, I look, I'm a. I'm a pussy. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to come out and say it when it comes to flatbed. But shit, a woman you know coming up, I mean? a woman coming up in this motherfucker, jumping on there, throwing chains, drawing uh, tarps, and I mean, you know, and I'm, getting I'm, dirty. I'm, I'm, Hell you know, yeah, I give you, I, I, I give you the I, props. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I'm creative. I mean, you know, I, I'm, I'm different. You know, I just, I, I, I try, I try, I try. You know, what I'm saying if I didn't like it, I. Of course, I could have switched over to drive in, which when I go back out, I probably will switch over to drive in. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you know, I mean, I, I just I, I gave it a shot, you know, and just I mean, at least I could say, well, hell, I, I go for that bit. You know, you what I'm did, saying like you did it. When I, you, you know, done when, I, it. when I tell different women, yeah, yeah, I done it. Yeah, you know, when I tell different women, you know, I say no, I didn't, I didn't drive. You know, I didn't drive on um, you know, the, the, you know, drive in. I thought I drove flat They were like, oh, you know. Flatbed, you know, you know, it's it, it, it just the fighting part about it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, Dri- you know, driving uh, flatbed yeah. is it, driving flatbed is is a little bit different than than driving any other uh, any other divisions. What's what's some of the what's, what's okay. some of the what's, what's some of the things that you could tell people about about flatbed that's different from other divisions? What would would from from yeah. your experience, what do we have to do? Um, yeah, you better have some strength. For one, you better have some motivation. Um, I guess you got to make sure what you want to do. Um, I think that tend to that tarp. You know, you got some strong little women out there. You know, mm-hmm. but I'm gonna tell you that tarp put that tarp put it on you. That tarp ain't no joke. You know, um, but. I mean, just the motiva- motivation. Um, I mean, it, it definitely helps you get your strength up. Because I know when I started doing it, you know, with my with my my bar and stuff, you know, uh, man, my whole body was hurting. I said, "Damn, I'm hurting in places I ain't even know I had on my body." You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's like shit, like so. Yeah, they had that motivation, and you know, a little bit. You know, you know, you get you you get stronger as you go. Okay. You know, and, um, what about what what about uh making sure, what about securing how now you oh, you yeah, went yeah, in, you yeah. went into oh, yeah. you there went you into yeah. flat bedding so you you had to go you before you, you had to learn about securing it during during orientation or you learned about it yeah. during training yeah 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 we did we did yeah, she showed a brief because I came in with Wester at um on Truckers Appreciation Week. Mm-hmm. So he went over like the basic, um, you know, with us and um, and things like that, you know, and um, you know, with with our, you know, strapping and um, you know, our, you know, chain and um, you know, how to lay our boys down for um, 
I forgot what they call it. Um, I don't give them a turn. I think of it in a minute. But, um, you know, just, you know, just things like that, you know, with the tarp and how to tarp and how to roll up our tarp. And, um, you know, they teach you about um, how much you should weigh. And, you know, and I mean, it wasn't really, you know, you had to worry about moving on tandems and, you know, like you do on the drop end and stuff like that because driving flatbed, it, it basically be the right weight. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. I mean, it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't too... You know, once you get into it and, you know, if I had to, you know, stuck with it, then it, it, it comes to you, you know. But, I mean, other than that, I mean, it's, you just make sure you make sure it's secure, you know. You, you go do your straps, you know, you got to stop every 50 miles. If you got to pull over to a rest stop or or get fuel, you know, you just do your walk around, you know, check to make sure your straps tight. If it ain't, you take your bar, tighten it up a little bit, go around, you know what I'm saying, and, and keep it moving. All right, all right. Let me give you a bomb drop for that, man. You deserve a bomb drop for that, man. <laughs> you uh, you you out there, you out there doing the damn uh, damn thing with the flatbed. So I you, so you rocked out with Western for about another four weeks before, before you know, before you left. Now, I did Western. Well, of course, if you didn't get your DOT certificate, Western had to let you go, right? Yes. Yeah. I mean, they didn't. They didn't actually let me go. Um, I, I could. I mean, actually, to be honest, I could have been went back really. But I just got some other things going on that I'm trying to handle before I go back out. You know, what I'm saying my younger son locked up. You know, what I'm saying he crying. Mama, get me out. Get me out. You know, I'm just trying to make. Let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna tell you. Like, let me tell you what I messed up at and what I did was. You know, I was so excited mm-hmm. when I got my CDLs. Um. I didn't take the time, you know, to make sure everything was straight, which, which you know, my mom lived with me. She's been living with me for the last 10 years, you know. Right. So that's who, you know, took care of my household and stuff when I was gone, you know, and over the road. But um, it um, it did some things that, you know, I, I jumped out there. I jumped out there, and I and I, and I, I, I think I jumped out there too quick. Um. See that's. I was just like, let, hey, let, I'm let, let me add, let me let me let me interject. Let me interject on that part right there where you say you jumped mm-hmm. out in too mm-hmm. quick, um, mm-hmm. and that's what some people do. They, you know, of course they get excited when they get their CDLs. They they jump into right. the industry not knowing right. what the industry is about. You know, they a lot of people right. just come out here thinking that. Oh, I'm gonna make all this money. I'm gonna see the world, and 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 right. everything's gonna be all gravy. But what they fail to realize right. is like the intricate parts of trucking, like the the delivery times. You know what I'm saying? Like for example, you're oh, gonna for example, you know you you're up doing the day, but your delivery don't deliver until night, and you gotta drive right. at night. Your sleep right. pattern is going right. to be different. Your sleep pattern is going to be off. Right. Then you got to worry about the D, right. uh You got to worry about the DOT. You got to make sure that your truck is right. on point. You got to do your pre-trip and right. your pro. Well, you don't have to do a pre-trip. Well, pre-trip, yeah. yes. Post-trip, no. Pre-trip. Yeah. Post-trip when you, yeah. 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 And and a lot of people that, you know, a lot of people is jumping in. They don't they they think they're going to start making all this money like right off the rip, not knowing that the first couple of months that you're out with a trainer, you're only going to get paid training money. You know what I'm saying? So, so, you know, by you saying that you jumped into it too quick or jumped into it. Right. without knowing you know without doing a little bit more research on it you know that that was good that you said right. that and that gives these people out here yeah. a little bit more you know give them a little bit more to, just just let me let let me just check it out maybe let me just make sure that it's for me you know what i'm saying right so that's right but uh, because it's not for everybody, you yeah, know. Yeah, trucking is definitely not for everybody. All right, so it's you definitely not for everybody. It's so not. you so so you decide mm-hmm. to come out and you're you're back, you know, bad taking care of things and all like that. Um, mm-hmm. when you decide to come back in, you you have you have you been doing your research 
on companies that you would like to go with? I have, um, um, I have, um, but by me not having that much experience, um, I'm gonna have to go back out with the trainer. Of it's probably course. about a hundred hours. Yeah. Um, right. Um, I actually talked to a recruiter the other day. He was a, like a recruiter for, uh, uh, for the recruiters <laughs> at Pam. What Pam um, Transportation? Not sure if I'm a. Yeah, Pam Transportation. You know, I know some other. You know, other fucking companies out there besides Pam. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's not Pam. Not Pam. Yeah. Mm-mm. Yeah. Mm-mm. I think it. I think I think I better search around. I, I when when, when you said Pam, when so. you I, I thought you was about to say Prime. I was about to give you the. If you would have said Prime, but Pam, right, right, I no, thought, I, 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 I don't. I, I read on Prime. I, I read on Prime. I, I, I would, okay. I would probably, Prime. if any, if anything, if anything, I would probably just go with Prime just to, you know, just to, you know, to get my experience up and then move on. Okay, but definitely okay. not, definitely not Pam, not Pam. I appreciate it. Yeah, definitely I not Pam. I, I. Uh, don't get me I wrong. I'm it. I'm not the trucking guru, but I would uh, uh, me personally. I would not go with Pam. Uh-huh. I mean, if I get if I was to do right. if I was to do all this over again, then yeah, I would have went with Prime. Uh-huh. I, I would have went with Prime, but okay. but yeah, right. not not Pam, not Pam. So um, okay. So you so uh so you're 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 back at Amazon now, like. Like I'm wow, um, I mean, wow. So, so it's it's like it's like you never left, huh? <laughs> it's like I never left, bro. Exactly. Yeah, it's like it's it's like you ne- it's it's like yeah. you it's like you never <laughs> left, man. All right, like all right. Left, uh, left, so. Without without getting into you know without getting too much detail into your into your personal life, mm-hmm. man. You. You mentioned that your mm-hmm. your youngest son is on lockdown. Um, yeah. How 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 long how long he got before you can before he comes back home? Um, he got court in July the first. Um, I'm not I'm not even really sure because he hadn't even went to court on you know on his charges and stuff like that. So, you know, me and you know. Me as a single mother, you know, raising them and telling them, look, this is that 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 is not where you want to be. Exactly. You know, so I'm just giving. Them, I could have got him out. I could have been got him out. I'm just I'm just showing them that tough love. Okay. Right now, you know, what I'm saying I always have his back. You know, you know, you know. I don't. Hey, it ain't like I never, you know, went down there and and, and bailed him out or you know or, or got him out. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, they sometimes you, know, they you just got to sometimes you, know, you just like got to treat but, you. You, you got to do your kids. Yeah, that way. that's you, right. You gotta. That's right. You That's know, right. I mean, you know, and I hate it. I hate it. I do. It hurt. It hurt me to my heart. It hurt. Me. But you don't learn today. <laughs> <laughs> it's not today. You gonna learn someday. <laughs> you say. You say. Oh my God! Funny. You say you are gonna learn today. Yeah, I mean, shit. I mean, I, I ain't. I ain't gonna put it like this. Say my money. You might come out and do the same shit. I ain't put my name on shit. I, hey, I done did that shit. Done that shit. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't nah. I I I, you say, I ain't got it. <laughs> you say you gonna you say you gonna learn today, huh? If you haven't learned then, you gonna learn today. You gonna learn today, yeah, man. Hey, you gonna learn today. You gonna oh, learn. So. Man, you gonna learn today. Well, hopefully by the time you know, yeah, hopefully by the time uh, July come around, maybe. Well, you got you. Well, you got a month. Well, you got a month. You you got a month and about a week because May's almost over. You better know it. May's almost (laughs) over. I I, I mean, I'm I'm just sitting back, relaxed, counting counting these days that go by quick, man. This 2020 could not leave fast enough. 2020 yeah. cannot oh, yeah. leave fast enough. You know what I'm saying? With all this, yeah. with all this, yeah. with all this BS that's going on and this CV19 and right. all like that, yeah. it, it cannot. This, yeah. this, it's uh, six months in. Couldn't the next six months cannot come fast enough, man? I'm telling you. How's uh, how's damn. how's this uh Already. how how's this pandemic affected you and your family? Um. It really 
it happened. Um, shit, we do what the fuck we told to do. We stay in the house. <laughs> I'm an essential worker. I take my ass to work. And I come to fuck home. You know what I'm saying? Like, straight like that. I'm just, you know. How's mom, that? You know, she how's, been how's, house, you know, she how's, been. how's Amazon? Because they they was they was in the news earlier this man, year man, about man, about man, sanitation. Man, we done had about, we done, man, we done about eight damn cases up in Amazon, man. This people, man, I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you something. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We done had about eight cases up in Amazon. I think I think our last case was uh, on the fifteenth of this month. Mm-hmm. You can say the person was last seen in the building on the fifteenth of this month. I think yeah, so yeah, yeah. We just had about two more cases. We, about, we don't have about almost ten cases up now. <sighs> wow. Did did yeah. how how's the how's how's the sanitation there? What 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 is Amazon doing to 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 protect you guys as far as to 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 try to protect you guys from the virus? Because being in being in a uh, being in a place like that, I'm I'm sure it's kind of hard. Yeah, it is. Um, you know, they got the six feet, six feet, six feet. What's your three, four, five, six, six feet? You know, <laughs> so, and you know, they give us masks. Uh, you can wear your own mask. Um, they got the little, uh, they have you on the social distancing now. They just, they just took all the microwaves, the old microwaves down, bought some microwaves. They just took all the food down. Um, they took our, um, they took our, you know, the, uh, our, um, liquid coffee creamer. Mm-hmm. They took that out. We got portable hand wash stations. Sanitizers all over the place. Um, oh man, they they you know they check out temperature every time you go in and out, in and out, in and out the building. Mm. Uh, they don't want you. Now they don't even they don't even really they 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 they, they, they still want you six feet in the pocket lot. They don't want you touching, you know. So they you know and then you know they got like you know disinfectant cleaner, you know clean up wipes and you know we can wipe our station down you know and you know and. Uh, our handheld devices and you know and stuff like that. So they are basically doing everything that everybody else doing. It ain't you know it but ain't it ain't said, no different. But you say yeah. I mean, uh, you I, had mean a lot I mean of... hell to be honest. I mean shit to be honest. I mean all all bullshit aside, everybody should have been doing that. That ain't that ain't nothing that be, that, that, that should have been just started right now anyhow. You know I mean, what? You, it's, you, like, you, it's, you, it's, you it's like it's it's like this pandemic just it's like this pandemic just made everything brand new to everybody. <laughs> right, right. I mean, because you 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 learn to wash your hands mm-hmm. when you're a child. So if you're a grown person and, and you go to the bathroom and don't wash your hands, you're nasty. In my eyes, you're you're nasty. Like, For sure. Well, why would you not wash your hands? But For sure. Right. Yeah. So I so mean, I, I, mean, I I agree because I mean, it's, it's nothing new. It's not, it, it, you know, truck drivers. I, I I hate to say this to you guys, but we. I mean, but you deal. you are some of the nastiest motherfuckers I ever met. I mean, every, <laughs> every everything everything from the everything from the from the missed teeth to the black mouth. That's what I call it now. The the black mouth because right. some uh-huh. some of you out there that be uh-huh. talking, I I just be like. Mm-mm. Uh huh. Uh huh. And and then for you, <laughs> then you guys that goes up in the bathroom, and I, I see it, I see it firsthand. Y'all come up out the fucking toilet doing the number number two, and just walk straight out the bathroom. Fuck wrong with you guys. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, what? what? It's like the it's it's like the water is is contaminated to you guys, right? Y'all, y'all, y'all touch, right. y'all touch, I, I y'all touch like it, now. y'all, y'all touch it to flush it, and then y'all just y'all touch the handle, and y'all don't watch. Oh, y'all, some of the nastiest motherfuckers. I, man, listen, right, I, right. Listen, I was in the loves about two, two and a half weeks ago. Uh, now me, I got you know, I I got my little uh my little baby wipes. You know, because I I take that in there when I have to do a number two. You know, I like that. You know, make sure my shit, you know, clean and fresh. You know what I'm saying? So I wash my hands. You know, I like that. You know, dude comes out of the out of, out of the stall, leaves. So usually I'm I'm not that I'm not that dude. I you know I look hey, I, I look at it. I just say mm mm mm, and then I keep it moving, but. But the God in me 
was like, you know, this pandemic that's going on. And that's why everybody's sick because, you know, you, you, you walking out there and you touching shit and you contaminating shit. The God in me like, Hey bro. Hey bro. Hey, hey, ain't you going to wash your hands, man? Oh no, I got sanitizer. Motherfucker, where the sanitizer at? I ain't see you put no sanitizer on. Oh, it's in the truck. Bruh. Uh, come on now. Come on now. Bruh. You, you, really? Really, man? I'm like, I, I'm, I'm not, I, I'm like that on. That's how I am. I'm just like that on. I, I had to hit the, I, I had to hit the bro on him twice, Bruh. man. Because when he told me, when he told me that, I I pretty much lost it. I was like, okay, I, I got to go. I got to go. But, yeah, some of you truck drivers are some of the nastiest motherfuckers out here, though. But um, when so when are you going to get back into the game? I don't know what happened. Yeah, I think I lost you there for a minute. <laughs> Hello. What, what was the last thing you heard before we, we went blank? Hello. Hello? Can you hear oh, me? Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Hello. Hello. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, I can my hear bad, you now. My bad. I don't know what happened. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know what happened. What, what was the last thing you heard before right. before it went black? Ah, uh, you asked me uh, um, when I plan on getting back out. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so you heard the story about 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 the dude, the the truck driver that came out of the bathroom and told me that he had a sanitizer in the truck. Yeah, you, I, I heard that. I heard that part. I oh, heard that. Okay, okay, okay. What and do you saying, What um, do you say? What do you say to that? What What do you say to to now? Now I know that females. I, I know there's some there's there's some females, but I, I would think females is a little bit more sanitary than 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 the men. But what do you say? What do you say to when you see people like that? Do do you confront them, or what, what do you say about that? Um, I have, um, I have, I I know me, and I ain't, I ain't trying to start no. Uh, no, no, no competition, not like that. But um, I, I just said in the back of my head, you a, you a nasty bitch, man. You know, you, you wash your goddamn hands. You know what I'm saying? Like, even for me, like, I'm a plus size woman, so I definitely, I, I definitely got that that style and that class and that fashion. And I, I keep myself, I keep myself clean. You know, as you know, as a female. You know, you get all this stuff about old oh, plus size women. You know, they this, they that, but nah, every, every plus size woman is not the same. So, mm -hmm. but I was just gonna say before we got uh, disconnected that um, I I, was, I remember going out with my trainer when I was with my trainer, and um, I think we was in San, still in San Diego, and um, we got a we got a a, a message across the Quail Com, and mm -hmm. you know it was his DM, and he was like, uh, you know, you know, are y'all gonna be able to deliver that load today? And I was like, nope. So he, he, you know, his deal was like, why? I said, first of all, bro, I had to take a shower. Like I'm going on my second day, and I ain't doing no shower. Like I can't roll like that, you know. So he was like, oh, well, you know, don't take the time out during the day to do things like that, and you know, they kind of, they kind of push my fucking buttons because I'm like, yo. So I, to, I told, I told my trainer, I said, yo, Matt, you need to talk to your DM boy because he got me fucked up. If he think I'm gonna go two, three days without a fucking shower, like I don't do shit like that. I don't do it at home. And I definitely ain't gonna do it over the fucking road. So, you know, Matt was like, man, don't even worry about that shit. You know, I I I know what you did, you know what I'm saying, and shit like that. But for a for 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 a grown man, for a grown woman to go in there and use the bathroom and not wash their hands, and that fucking nasty. And if they do it over the fucking road and in the public, they do it if they do it at fucking home. They do it at home. You, you, if they do if if dude walked his ass out of the out of the out of the restroom without washing your hands. Then yeah, he does it at home, man. That's why. Yeah, he do it at home. That's he why. Do that's why. You know, like I said, I I already started it before this pandemic made everything brand new again. I stopped shaking right. hands. If you okay. if you're not All a prof right. if you're not like a, a a a professional guy, like you know, if I go in for you know going for a job or doctor's a bank office. doctor's yeah, office right, and shit like right. that. 
right. I, I'll shake right. your hands out of respect, but if you see me on the streets in the in the you know see me in the streets in the truck stops or anything like that, nigga, you getting the pound. That's it. As a matter of fact, right. as I a did. matter of fact, you might not even get that. Hey, <laughs> hey, yo, what's up? What? Woo, six feet, baby, six feet. <laughs> Woo, six right, feet. Right, right. Six feet. Back, back. back. But if I if I know right, you personally, yeah. if I know you personally and I've been fucking with you for a while and we meet up in the streets, right. then yeah, I'll give you the pound and all like that. But if it's if right. it's somebody I don't know, woo! Six feet, nigga. Six feet. Right. Back. I hear, I hear back it, it up. I hear it. I, nah, no, I I, it. I, no more. You know, like I said, now that now that this pandemic, this C this C V thirteen uh nineteen changed the face right. of everything. You know yeah, what I'm it saying? Yeah, it changed that, the face of how normalcy is shit, supposed man. to be. You know? Yeah, yeah. But, hey, but you know, I'm going to tell, tell you something that's real, though. I seen something on Facebook the other day. Mm -hmm. And I know this ain't got nothing to do with the conversation or not. But, you know, goddamn, I posted on Facebook the other day, you know, when Michael Jackson used to go over there in China. Mm -hmm. You ever know that that motherfucker used to? You ever Always know that have on a mask. mask fucking gloves? Always have on a mask. Yeah. Yeah, always have on a mask. Have shit, Michael Jackson was yeah, telling I'm us this the, shit back I, in the day. Yeah. Nobody, yeah, everybody, everybody thought, every, everybody, thought Michael <laughs> everybody thought Michael Jackson, everybody thought Michael Jackson was a crazy motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Everybody yeah, thought he right, was crazy, right. but shit, that motherfucker knew, that, knew, nah, that, that motherfucker knew he was going, he, knew, in, he was going into he a knew. foreign country. He, he was going into a foreign yeah, country, and that motherfucker knew. had that mask. There you go. That motherfucking mask, them gloves, yep. the the face mask, yep. and all he that shit, man. Did. And everybody yep. thought that everybody mm -hmm. thought that boy was crazy, man. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know, some. I mean, you know, I Michael. I mean, some some of these people back in the day that's no longer Wolf is the crazy shit that they did back in the day is kind of like coming back, coming back twofold now. Like, oh, yeah. okay, I yeah, see why he did that. Huh. Yeah. Coming back, mm -hmm. yeah, that's reality right there. That's real. Yeah, mm -hmm. man. Yeah. So what do you? Definitely. So Definitely. so 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 Miss K, man. Before we get on up out of What's here, up, man. Babe? Before we get on up out of here. Yeah. Now you're a single woman. You you know you you're a single mother uh -huh. or two, and all like that. This yeah. this this yeah. pandemic has given everybody that's that's single a a, a whole new normalcy. Uh -huh. How do you guys, how do you, how, in your opinion, because I, I need to know, coming from a woman's perspective, okay. in your opinion, right. how, how is you guys handling the, the dating, the, the dating scene now? What do you, what do you think the dating Man. scene going to, going to be, going to be like what? going you forward? You know what, you know what, yeah, you, you. <laughs> You trying to make me go there? <laughs> mm -hmm. Go there, uh, man. Let me tell go you. Go there. Something. You got to go you there. Know, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put it out there like this. And he might hear it, and he might not hear it. You know, uh, I started dating this dude uh, from Western. You know, I, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna put him out there like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. I met him when I went to orientation um, in PA. You know, we hit it off. You know, mm -hmm. we grown. You know, we grown. You know. Mm -hmm. So we had been dating, you know, uh, up up to about the last month, you know. Um, mm -hmm. I ain't gonna go all into details, you know. No, nah, you don't have to go into details. But, it's all um, good. It's all good. No, nah, I ain't gonna go into details. But um, he's a great dude, you know. He, you know, I guess he got his issues. I got mine. So you know. But I mean, I I, I got three guys. I don't I don't fuck with him. You know, if I fuck with him, I fuck with him. If I don't, I don't. You know. Mm -hmm. Um, I, 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 I got, I got a particular kind of man that I like, you know what I'm saying? Like if, if, if I'm attracted to you, then I'm attracted to you, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but, um, shit, I mean, shit, hell, I, I, shit, I don't, <laughs> I, I just be, I'm, I'm a, I, I just be chillaxing, yo. I don't, you know, I mean, since I, you know, just my little breakup and shit like that, I don't even. I, I wouldn't fuck with nobody but him anyway, so <clears throat> I just I don't man. It's kinda hard to say because if I do if I do decide to, you know, to get up with somebody or somebody like that, it it'll probably be somebody I already know. It ain't gonna be nobody new, you know, like right off the back or no shit like that. But mm -hmm. I mean, I just I just I I'm basically trying to get my ass back on this road so I can get my experience in and get the fuck on. 
Like dick right now, I mean, it, it's an issue. <laughs> you know, but <laughs> it, it really, it really shouldn't be an issue. You know, <laughs> you know, if it, if it, if it, if it, if it hey, 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 real talk. If, I mean, if, if it ain't, if it ain't, if if if, if, if it ain't my GT, then you know what I'm saying. I ain't even. Hey, look, I, I, whatever, whatever you got, whatever you, know, you guys do for it, I, I, I you know, I, yeah. I don't know, I, you know, some, you know, I, I just wanted to know what what's the dating scene going forward after you know after everything is curved, which I don't think it never will, but going forward, nah. how's this, how's the dating scene for single people is going to be like? You know what I'm saying? Y'all going to be Shit, uh, look. Be let, me, bunch, let me let me let me let me let me let me say let me say this now. I know a lot of a lot of guys, you know, and this is you know this is off topic, but a lot of guys, you know, they like to hit it from the front, or they like to hit it from the back. Uh, now with this new now with this new normal. A lot of us motherfuckers is gonna be hitting it from the back. <laughs> <laughs> Social distancing and sets, man. <laughs> hey, see, see that Social distancing and sets, man. You know, you know. Uh, yo, we hey, gonna hit hey. it from the back. He's like, yo, baby, I like. Oh, I I like to see you. I like to see. No, baby, I'm about to hit it from the back, man. From the back, right, right. <laughs> and that ass on over, so yeah, yeah, pretty, yeah, so. yeah. Face down, a up. You know and what I'm saying? Up, you know it. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Right, and, right, and, and, right. Had to hit it from the back, man. Social I, I distancing. Can, I, I, I can definitely, I, 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 I can definitely say, uh. It probably be a bunch of babies coming up out this motherfucker. Oh, it's gonna be a bunch. Of, like, you know what, though? To talk about it, you know, the, it is gonna be a bunch of babies coming up out of here. Twenty twenty, y'all, y'all yeah. gonna see it like, oh, I got pregnant during the pandemic. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you're mm-hmm. a pandemic baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They gonna get there. They but, they, they, they getting pregnant during the goddamn pandemic. I don't, I don't, I don't that ain't even my vocabulary. I but can't, on the on the, on the side, goddamn. On the on a side note too, you know, um, I'm yeah, for, you yeah, know, on the yeah. side note too, there's there's a lot, you know, domestic violence is on the rise too. Yeah, this. I was gonna say that too. Yeah, yeah I, I, I imagine, you know, you know, you just. You can't get out and see your side bitches. You can't see your side niggas. I mean, shit. Now, I mean, hey, you don't want to be cooped up in the house all day. I mean, but shit. I mean, <laughs> I hear you. It's man. Life. I, I mean, I hear you. I hear you. You know, ya. like Woo. they say, they say the domestic violence rate had went up. I can imagine. I'm glad I ain't got no niggas living with me, so I'm good. <laughs> I hear you. I ain't got to worry I about the motherfuckers. Ya. I hear you. You know well, what I'm saying? So shit, it is, it is what it is. Well, Miss K, man, thank you for coming on. I really do appreciate it. Oh, no doubt, without a doubt, without a doubt. Anytime, anytime. All right. Anytime. You made me your number one. I I I got you every time. Hey, I appreciate it. I really do. Uh man, what what you got what you got set for today? Man, I'm chilling. I done worked 20 hours straight, man. I'm tired. I'm finna. You caught me. Actually, you caught me right on time. When, when, when you called, I was like, I don't know nobody from no fucking Cleveland, Ohio. I ain't answering that shit. So, <laughs> but yeah, when you text me, it was like, you ready? I'm like, ah, oh, shit, that's my boy. Yeah, I'm ready. Let me go ahead and do it. So, you know, I'm finna go ahead and goddamn take a shower. I gotta be back at work at 7 o'clock tonight. Ooh, I done did 20 wait. hours. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, I done well, did you... 20 hours. So, it's a tired day, but. Well you do the well you do the damn thing, man. You do the damn thing. All right, y'all. This is uh oh, yeah. Lockout Man and Miss K. I that, look, I, I appreciate you coming on, babe, and uh and rocking out with oh, me. Yeah, Yo, doubt. if you guys want to oh, come yeah. on and chop it up with me, you know what to do. Hit me up in the lockout men podcast at gmail.com. That's what y'all do. You can call me 216-600-2090 or head over to Instagram. Or if you in CDL Life, yo, we we chop it up over there too. CDL yeah. Life is CDL like Life. It, it's like uh it's like the Facebook for truck drivers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, right. right. Miss K, I again a round of applause to you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I appreciate if, it. I if, appreciate it. I appreciate it. If you guys uh like content like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell on the way out the door. All right. All right. Me, Lockout Men, Miss K, thank you for being here. We are. Oh, yeah.
Yeah. Gone. Very delighted. All right, all right, Miss K. Thank you. All right. All right, man. All right. You're welcome, man. Anytime, anytime, anytime. How, how, how do you think it went? How, how do you think it went? I think it went good. I think uh, it went good. All it right. Good. All that right. Was my first lie. You know, that's my first time ever doing something like this. You know what I'm saying? I, I like that. I like that. That's why I say anytime, anytime. All right. No you know, doubt. You no already doubt. know. I, I, you know, the vibe, the vibe that I got from you and the vibe you got from me, you already know I'm, I'm, I'm on it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be on I, I'm going to be on every damn podcast. <laughs> I, hey, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. You know.